In the top of our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. And I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. Meyer started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. Myers was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. And we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Myers' invention. There's talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. It'll be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The day it happens will be one the fuel industry hates. But it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. enormous range of new things that have been worked up to a remarkable level in the past and then suppressed by the existing order for one reason or another. Either they're incompatible with classical ideas or they upset strong financial interests or whatever it may be. In the past great things have been done by gifted humans. They are in a sense the vehicles of God Almighty in bringing this stuff into the world. And none of it has ever reached public use and, and uh, uh, public currency because of this dictatorship of the knowledge systems of the world. Video, and in particular projects like this one we're on now, they reveal that you can do to these ancient, the seemingly ancient discoveries, what was not possible or feasible 50 years ago it was simply beyond technical capabilities and the means of distributing what you discovered were all in the wrong hands nowadays the internet has put all that to bed you can't do that anymore you know humanity is going to have uh, information no matter what so I see in the things that I know about and have been personally involved with a great horizon for producing an endless series of productions like this that will bring this stuff out of the limbo where they've been shoved and into the full light of day where some of the bright young people who are now on the earth can make them into blessings for mankind.